Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we are looking at this Cub Cadet LTX 1045. This is a pretty nice tractor. It has a bagger with it right here that I had to remove. Today we're going to work on this PTO cable. I got it with a broken cable, so I ordered a new cable for it. And uh, this video is going to be about putting that cable on. So here's a quick look at the tractor. We'll do an overall walk around check out the tractor that might be a separate video this one here is really going to be about putting this cable on and then this tractor will be back to cutting grass again so i'm going to try and do this without removing the deck i'm pretty sure i can i looked at everything where the cables attached to so i think this is going to be a fairly easy repair so hopefully this will help somebody out that uh you know their, their blades don't turn on anymore when they move the handle and uh, they can maybe make this repair on their own and save a little bit of money. Well, right now the sun is out. It's playing games. Hopefully it don't mess with the camera too much. And we're going to try and get you some good views here so you can see what actually needs to come apart. So in here, if you look and you move this cape, this handle, not that one, the other one. This is the one to engage your PTO. So right here, right here, that's where one end of the cable goes. Okay, so that's going to come right out pretty easy. Now in the back here, is where the cable, the housing, attaches to the tractor. Don't know if you can see that there. It looks a little dark. But it just clips in there. And we're going to squeeze those two prongs. See if we can pop that out. So I got some nice long curved needle nose pliers here. And we're going to squeeze that. See if we can get that to pop loose. It's trying. There we go. So that's out now. Now we can disconnect it from up here. From that, that lever that you saw moving. I'm just gonna reach in this way and pop that out. I think. There we go. Now this end, this part of the cable's out. And it just goes down in through there next to the frame. cable comes down through here right there it's not attached to anything in here now right here there's a clip that you pull out little cotter pin well one of these special cotter pins back to the pliers here This kind here, they're a little trickier to get out, but they stay in better. We're going to lay that there. Now we can pull this cable right out. And there's this little grommet that goes in there on the other side. So now our cable, the cable here is ready to come out. Well, once you get it through something, there we go. So there's the other end of the cable that goes on the deck. Of course, it broke right where the spring attaches. So in there is where your spring is, right here. And the spring has to go underneath this belt. 
We're gonna lift the spring up like this, see if we can get it disconnected. You gotta go pretty well straight up like that. Like that right there. Then you can get it off that bracket. Just like that. So now we have the new house, the new cable and housing. We want to match this up. Of course, the cable's broke, so we don't know how long that really is. But the cable, the housing matches just right. And this one here looks like it's missing this cover. So this may have been worked on before for some reason. So we're going to start on the deck end of this. That way we don't have to worry about that spring giving us problems fishing up through here. We're going to go up through here. Where are these ants coming from? And then we're going to stick our hands in here. Get this up through here like this. All right. Now we got the cable going up in there, sticking out the back. We're going to do the deck part first. Because we need to put the... So we have to go underneath the belt here, over top of the brake linkage, but underneath the belt. And we gotta stand the spring up, attach it back to that hole in the bracket that I can't see. There it is. My arm should be a little bit longer. Might be easier from the other side. There we go. Now we will pull this back. Now this housing has that grommet on it already. This new cable housing. We're gonna put this grommet on here. Now, one side of this has a hole in it for this pin to go back in. I'm going to have to look and see. Okay, it's on the back side now. It really doesn't matter which side it's on, front or back. This is just the way the cable decided to lay. So that's where it's going to be on the back side. But we put our grommet back on there. Now this pin goes back in through that hole. Just like that. Okay. So we got this end back together. Got the pin down, down through the hole in the housing to hold it in. Got the spring connected there. Now we come back here. There we are. So we're gonna put this end in that lever first. Then we're just gonna pull the cable back, the housing, and pop it in to its holder. So right there, here's the cable, here's the hole it needs to go in, 
just like that. Now, back here, right there, that's where the cable needs to go into, right in there. This is going to be the easy part. It's going to have a little bit of tension here. Well, we can relieve some of that by pulling the handle up. Oh, the handle is back, okay. So it's already released. So it's going to want to pull on the tensioner down there. See if we can move that a little bit. Okay. So seems to be that we may have to we may end up putting a little tension on that. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pull on that tensioner, I think, and get it to uh, relieve some of that cable. All right, I'm gonna use this ratchet strap instead of a bungee because if this slips off, it's not gonna go anywhere. Maybe it's easier to put the end on the lever and then connect the spring onto the deck. You know, you could try it that way also. But I'm going to keep going with the way I tried it. See what happens here. All right, let's see if we got enough cable here now. Okay, we have more cable to pull this back. And now it moves easy because we got the tensioner already starting to move. But we're going to pop this in. And that's locked in right there. Now we're going to engage this. Uh, just like that. Now we should be able to just take this right off of here. No, it's still tight. All right. Okay, so now I have it engaged. The belt should be tight. Then the belt's tight. That tensioner needs to be lubed up a little bit. I think it'll work like that, but it needs a little lubrication on the pivot because the tensioner does not spring back like it should. So we will have to, we'll spray that a little bit. That's going to be right there. I don't know if you, that's showing up. Where are we at? Right there, that nut at the end of that arm. See, that's the pivot. So we're gonna we're gonna lube that up a little bit. See if we can get that to spring back a little bit better. So for a recap, it may be easier to attach this end last, just because you can put the spring in to the the lever there and then pull the the housing and drop it in here and you'll be pulling right against the tensioner <clears throat> pulling against the cable housing on the other end it did not want to pull on the tensioner so this way would work the other way would possibly be better i think it would be and i did see that that grommet is not behind that clip so i'm going to have to redo that Somehow that popped off. And we're going to tighten this up a little bit. Like that. Pop this back in there again. Hopefully it goes together the right way. There we go. Now the grommet's on there where it's supposed to be. So that's replacing the PTO cable on a Cub Cadet LTX 1045. The 1050 here, 
that's got an electric PTO, so that's going to be totally different. But probably an LTX 1040, 1045, 1046, any of these 1000 series LTXs with a lever like that, they should all be about the same. It listed a whole lot of these when I looked up the cable. I'll try and put a link for the cable. Yes, I got it on Amazon. And, you know, that's how you put a cable on one of these. You don't even need to take the deck off. You know, it took me, I don't know, 15 minutes. I struggled a little bit. I think I did it the hard way. If you connect it to the lever first and then to the deck tensioner, I think that actually would be an easier way to do it. So if this video helps anyone, please like and subscribe.